Gordon's Fire Service. Pip and Emma were delighted to be able to run fast times to London. Gordon would have had to stop for water, but they didn't need to. Gordon couldn't understand why the controllers had taken all the water pipes away. He was even a bit suspicious about it. Proper engines can't work without water, he kept saying. It's sabotage, that's what. Diesels and electric trains don't need water, Pip and Emma tried to explain. We don't have to make steam like you do. But Gordon wasn't convinced. Does the other railway have electric trains too? asked Henry. Like the ones that go past our mountain railway? Some are like that, said Emma. Some trains are pulled by electric engines. That silenced Henry for a while. Gordon's last train each day stopped at all the stations. He liked this because he didn't have to hurry and get hot and bothered. One evening, however, delays on the other railway made Gordon late. At last, he drew into the station where the electric line began. As Gordon stopped, an electric train slid silently off the branch line and stopped at another platform. It caught Gordon's attention, as it made no noise and no steam. Beyond the station, a busy road crossed under the railway. Gordon was about to leave when he heard a shout in front of him. A man appeared, scrambling up the bank near the bridge. A wisp of smoke rose behind him. The man ran towards the station, waving his arms. Help! he yelled. Fire! A porter ran to telephone for the fire brigade. Gordon's fireman asked permission from the signalman and carefully worked the train forward. They stopped near the bridge. Smoke billowed from a bale of straw that lay on the roadside verge. A tractor and trailer stood nearby. Got the straw off before the rest went up, gasped the tractor driver. Now we must wait for the fire brigade. Tongues of flame curled round the edges of the straw bale and the smoke grew thicker. Can't we do something? urged Gordon, giving a poop of alarm. We certainly can, said his fireman. He grabbed the hosepipe he used to wash the footplates with water from the tender. Then he turned the tap, and when the water was running, he pointed the hosepipe at the burning straw. It wasn't a very strong jet of water, but it was enough. Slowly, the flames died down, and the tractor driver stamped out the remaining embers. At that moment, the fire brigade arrived. Sorry, the tractor driver explained. I'm afraid you've had a wasted journey. Gordon has put the fire out with water from his tender. The fire chief laughed. Well done, Gordon. And a good job. You were standing by. Gordon was very proud. And even and prouder still when the fire chief recommended him for the Queen's Fire Service Medal. The Fat Controller arranged a special presentation at the big station. Electric trains may be able to run fast with no noise, said Gordon, but we steam engines have our uses too.